Where did all these giant circles come from? Because some of them look kind of neat. Some of them look like they could have been made by a UFO, like a spinning around flying saucer. And they have like perfect rings on them, like a ring of a tree, you all. And um, how were they made? And why were they made? And um, did maybe oil people make them? What are they really there for? This is like in South America. Perhaps you have wondered how those big circles get there too. When I first saw them, I really thought years ago, I thought, is that UFOs? Is that where they park their UFOs? You all, that's really what I thought. Do they park their UFOs right there? <laughs> because of the way they look. The, it's just kind of wild. It really is wild if you think about it. Extremely, extremely <laughs> wild. Let's look at this, you all. Look at this. Look at this. It's kind of like it's got a bullseye on it. This one's got a bullseye right beneath me. And then the ones over here, they kind of got different things on them too. So um, that's why I wonder what on earth is going on. Do they plant their crops like that? Is it a form of planting? I really don't know, but um, they really um, look like it. Because they got Sada Bio Bioengineering Agriculture. Is this bioengineering um, right here? Is that why they do the circles for bioengineering of their crops? I think that's what it said. Bioengineering. In South America yeah I'm trying to shrink this down because I really I really am wondering how they made all those circles and what what is the purpose of the circles that are there that's what I wonder what is their purpose because they got to have a purpose otherwise they wouldn't be there and um, thank you for joining me you all if you're just tuning in let me come over here bring this on here I want to go zoom up with the Google Earth to look at it. I really do. Um, so do some of you got an answer? Um, hello there, Susan B. Hi, Um, Hello, everyone. You saw that when you flew over there, Deb Debbie is Yaz? Wow. Um, but, but, but what is it? You think those are irrigation sprinkler systems? Um, that just is that a form of gardening is it really like agricultural um, I've never heard of circle gardening like that I haven't this is um, in South America is where it's at I've often thought is that UFOs because look I was zooming in I wanted to zoom in on Google Earth and I think um, let me let me get over here I wanted to zoom over here on Google Earth I was over there on the state of the Amazonians following great big windy rivers that big windy river and then I ended up over somewhere over here I zoomed up and I saw those great big gigantic circles like there's some of them right here like in the middle of nowhere and it's really interesting it really is interesting what made them if it is like for irrigation and stuff what made them do that design because as we zoom up on it well you can't really get a good thing but you can see it's like um they do they look like flying saucers that's where flying saucers land that's what it looks like and um, <laughs> it really does it looks like that's where the flying saucers land and I, I can't really find the location that I was already at you all I, I guess I could if I um, typed it in there I really could what is this we'll see um, I don't know what that is look well what's that so really what's that is that where 
Is that irrigation too? Because it's got a bullseye right there, you all. What is that there for? Because there is no vegetation. And there looks like there's a white, little white cloud or something in that spot. Actually, it looks like a ship in that spot. I can't get any closer than this. I can't. So what is that for? A landing pad? Well... Uh... You think it's an old landing cloud? Now these clouds are in the way and I can't see inside the clouds. That could be a landing pad, I guess. I guess it could, you all. Well, there is, looks like a, a um, airport runway right here. Oh, that looks pretty neat. Doesn't that look like an airport runway? You st maybe start right there and go fly your airplane down the road maybe. Or is that a highway? I, I can't tell. I don't fly planes. Well, they got to take off, I guess. Something like that. I'm trying to find those circles. Look at those dark clouds. You think those dark clouds, these are the shadows of those clouds? The sun is angled. I'm, I'm supposed to be over here trying to find those circles is what I'm supposed to be finding. Let me look the name of them up. So, um, I need to find Moro Soto. Moro Soto. I'm going to type in Moro Soto. Sounds pretty cool. Moro Soto. Uh, Moro Soto. Are we back over here? You are Moro Soto. We can find it. I hope I spelt it right. Okay, I did. I was way off, you all. Way, way off. Gina, honey, you were way off. Or was I not? Well, no, that took me somewhere else. That doesn't look like it. Well, this took me into the forest. I didn't want to go into the forest, you all. I really didn't. I wanted to go back over there where the big circles were. And now i got to go all the way back over there to the side, you all. This is... Um, it is wild. I shouldn't have lost my place, but I did lose my place. I think it's over here. Maybe over here. Can we go? If y'all just tuning in. Um, okay, we're trying to find out those circles. Some said that they were for irrigation. Irrigation, not irrigation. Um, yeah. Um, you must have a jug or a plant medicine. They are welcome. They are welcome. Let me find this, you all. I'm going to type in SATA Bioengineering. SATA Bioenergia. SATA, SATA Bioenergia. SATA. SATA Bioenergia. Energia. SATA Bioenergia. SATA. Bio, E N E R G I A. Hey, we can find it. I hope it's take us to the place. Uh, let's see. I think if we're gonna go to Brazil, maybe. Are we going? Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! We found them, you all. We found them. <laughs> That was so wild. Yes, we found some bioengineering. Bi biology. We did. <laughs> oh my gosh, you all. It took us for a trip across the big circle pads, like lily pads, like a frog would jump on a lily pad. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them. But could you imagine UFOs landing in these spots? Really? If their ships were that big, they could just park them right there. That looked like a slice of a pie. But then if you look at these older ones right here, I guess this is where um, new forests have, have grown. New vegetation in these areas. Um, better in circles with the rotation of the earth. Well, that would um, kind of make sense. It would. I guess so. Yeah, what is this got some algae on it? 
but really you all. And um, has anybody grew their crops like that? Because, I mean, if they can grow better crops in circles, that would be great. It really would be. But look at them. Look at all the rings on this one right here. What would they even grow there? Terry, honey, you got you to gotta answer to something? Um, let's see. We need to, to, the circle of the space lets us humans lift our sperm. Did you say sperm? Lift the something. I don't know. Um, free energy. We got free energy coming. So, um, when did these begin? Really, when did this type of farming begin you'd have to ask yourself that when did it begin was it long 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 ago they have watering systems that row on a central pivotal point wow a central pivoting point would that be in the center with their um, watering systems um, if they put their watering system in the center let's see what's in the center if we can well, we can't really see that well, but then perhaps if they move their watering thing to each level, it could reach further in a radius. No, I don't know how that would work. I really don't know how that would work unless they, um, well, I guess they'd have to go to one, two, three, four, five, six levels of watering. Okay, Joseph Isaacs, honey, you got to go. Okay. Um, Google, Google, everything. Why do we have yellow circles? We can type, why do we have yellow, cir yellow circles? Why, there, why are there big circles on land? What makes them? Agricultural. Oh. But then we got this right here, you all. We got world crop circles. See, now, isn't this interesting? They're called crop circles because they're associating themselves with crops that people grow their crops in circles. So why would they make these designs is there somehow some type of alien civilization, ancient civilization associated with that type of growing that comes and makes these gigantic crop circles and designs like that, you all? Is that why? But then listen to look at Stonehenge, how Stonehenge is like in a circle, too. It's in a circle. Um Stonehenge is in a circle. Ancient art. The Tomaberry Stone Circle. We can look at the Tomaberry Stone Circle. Um, it doesn't look like much a circle from here. Uh, anthropology. Enthusiastic anthropology in ancient history from New Zealand focusing on archaeology. So where's the circle? Um, I see this circle right here from the center of the sun. Look at that right there. That looks like the wheel within a wheel. See that? Um, the Tomaveri Stone Circle near Tarlan, Aberdeenshire, Aberdeenshire, Scotland. It took us an hour drive to drive to this remarkable site while freezing. They got a beautiful day and um, tourist free. The Neolithic period, 2500 BC, although stone circles are relatively common in the British Isles, recumbent stone circles such as the Tumnaviri are unique to the east northeast Scotland. There are approximately 100 examples of this type of stone circle known, and they are characterized by having a large stone on its side with two upright stones flanking it. Oh, okay, I wonder what that means. Yes, 
What does that mean? On its side, um, it's not known why they were built. Um, they was built on the edge of a cultivated land away from settlements, and it's been suggested that their purpose was to frame sacred landscape features. They provide a stunning views of Loch Nagar. Uh, ooh, might have been associated with the dead, or closely related to agriculture and astronomical observation, enabling the local farmers to track the changing seasons. For example, they've been framed by the three large stone formation at Midsummer, a Midsummer Night Dream. Uh, let's look at this, you all. They got, they got a, they destroyed these circles. So let's see about this. So it says much later, around 1000 BC, the site was used for cremation burials and in more recent history, the monument came close to complete destruction, nearly being destroyed by a quarry prior to the 1920s. They were going to destroy this by a quarry. Um, they probably knew the significance of it, and they probably did want to do it. Intervention took place, and from this point, the circle was taken into state care and preserved for us to still view today. It uh, is a testament of the Neolithic community who lived on this landscape. So isn't that something? Sharing the view of prehistoric creator creators of Tumnaveri, only over 4,000 years apart. You are with this mountainous landscape. So that was a stone circle. Okay, that was pretty interesting. But yeah, we got these tone circles. Um, what did I say? Tone circles? Stone circles? And we got the North Pole. Look, the Arctic tree line. Have you heard of the Arctic tree line? We're talking about circles here. Why they build those circles, you all? Yes. Uh, we got some Moana Loa erupting again. Um, you saw a fireball. It was three. You called the Civil Defense Moana Kea. Let me hear you, K KP. Um, we're talking about Moana Kea. The fireball, it was post past three moving lights in the sky you called the civil defense and Moana Kea observatory next morning at 6 a.m. they said the last time there was a report was back in 84 following uh, the oh, wow that's good for you so yeah look at that you all so we have a tree line what's the tree line mean it, uh, do they mean for tree trees oh, look at that all of earth's water into a big cube. Do they mean that? Do they really mean they're going to put the Earth's water? We're talking about circles, so this qualifies as a topic. Since this is a circle, you all, um, now we're talking about cubes. One of the most boggling experiences I have standing on a beach is a silly amount of water, about all this water. I need to put all the world's water into cubes so I can look at it at once and grasp how much it really is, they say. So look at that. Uh, fresh water is 3%. Surface water, we'll say groundwater is 0 0.09 and rivers are 2%. Okay, 30 lakes are 87% swamps. Okay, over 97% is still sitting in their oceans. Over 97% of the earth water is in the oceans. Okay, so we, we're supposed to be talking about these circles right here because they look like flying saucers made them. And I was just thinking um, about it. And then, you know, we got this circle around the moon. We also get the circle around the sun. And they're always perfect, these circles. They're perfect. It's like a halo. And those crop circles... The irrigation kind of does match that. You all, if you look at it, it's perfect. One of them looks like a big bullseye. You think it's imitating also the moon up there and the sun up there? It could be. Um, yeah, you've seen a large amount of ships in Oahu. And then look at this. Um, snorkel at Molokini, um, Maui. I think I went there snorkeling when we um, visited that. It was really pretty. I s almost stepped on a snowflake eel. 
It was so pretty, and I decided I'd walk out there without my water shoes on and about stepped on a snowflake eel, which was kind of scary. Uh, look, why are manhole covers round? Y'all, we're talking about crop circles are round. Now we got to know why the round, the manhole covers are round. We're talking about round circles. Um, if this thing is talking, I don't want any uh, noise coming through. I'm going to block the audio. Um, so, um, shapes, why are they circle? Um, they're round because it's the best shape to resist the compression of the earth around it. Oh, that's really interesting. That makes sense, right? Um, a circle cannot fall through a smaller circular, circular opening, no matter how much you twist it. Okay, so you all, we found out about circles, and we're, we're Google Zooming. We're Zooming up on Google Earth, and we're looking at all these crop circles right here. And uh, someone said it's for irrigation, but, you know, they do make crop circles. And something makes the crop circles and makes really pretty crop circles uh, if you're just tuning in. Um, so the lead won't fall in the hole. Yes. So let, let's see the crop circles, you all. Why do they got the crop circles? So let's look at them again. Look. How to read the red landscape from your airplane window. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Why do you need to read the landscape? Do you ever wonder what you're seeing when you look out of your plane at the spot bizarre red pools or strange green circles on the ground below the weirdest and most beautiful views from a plane um, so people find the most mysterious is the big round green circles in the middle of North America I didn't know North America have big round green circles did you all um, yes so um, it's called the pivot irrigation uh, they are farmlands, and there's a well at the center of each one of them, then a long arm with sprinklers on it, so it's sprinkling all around the well. At a landscape level, you're seeing a map of the aquifer. In other words, this kind of irrigation only works over aquifers. The larger pattern of circles show where the groundwater is easily accessible in the Midwest, and then the um, the circles peter out in western and eastern regions where there is enough rainfall that the farmers don't need to tap the aquifers. Well, you know what they did here with the farmland? They tapped the water supply uh, that the people use, and um, that's what they're using. So this is, um, it's, I don't know what this thing did. I don't want gizmo. So this was, um, well, we can't see it. Okay, I don't know what happened to it, you all right there there's a whale at the center of these they t what's that look at that that's a, a one two three four five six why is that there let's ask ourselves why is that shape setting there with the circles because it's a ship or something you all why is that sitting there isn't that interesting now, is that a form of irrigation? Um, one, Gina, let me do this. Is that a form of irrigation right down here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. Um, it looks like um, some of the stars that we zoom up on because they are like that. Uh, sometimes the sun looks like that too. It does. Um, um, uh, no, I don't ask for money or Cameron, honey. I, I think Carmen, I think I did a video on that. Gina, something weird just happened. You have a PM that says it's from you and that I missed your phone calls and it doesn't seem like you. Uh, do you? No, I don't do that. Uh, and I don't even know where you would have got that message. So many people are imitating me, pretending to be me. Don't, 
I'm not going to personally reach out to anybody. Okay, you I'm not. And if, when you ever see the WhatsApp, if you don't see the WhatsApp, the people steal my profile picture. But if you click on them and you go to their page, they don't have 135,000 subscribers. And if they comment, they don't have the black thing next to their name with the check mark that's verifying it's me they just they steal my uh, info you need to report it is what you need to do report that stuff that you see like that because there's a lot of um, people like that and it's all over the place you I'm trying to find these crop circles we're, we're back here on Google Earth looking at them yes it looks like a Pac-Man so um, what if these crop circles originally they used to be like, say, um, alien crop circles. So that's what you look at them. They're all over the place. They are all over the place with all kinds of designs. And I do not like mazes. How many of you like to go inside a maze? We were going to go into the pineapple maze uh, in Hawaii, and I told my husband I am not doing it. It and I don't know if you can even get out of that place. The pineapple maze when we lived in Hawaii, I mean they got good pineapples, but no, I didn't. I don't like mazes one bit. Yes, it's like a trap. Y yeah, um, so. Who taught the people to um, who taught the people to do circle irrigation? Was it the aliens? Was it the extraterrestrials? Who did it? Um, yeah. Who made the crop circles? Who said this is how you should irrigate in circles? Have they been around for? thousands and thousands of years um have how long has mm -mm. let me see uh, center pivot uh, irrigation will it 1980s it was first coined in the 1980s um but somebody had to, okay, 19, no, now, do you believe this, you all? Uh, it was invented by farmer back in 1949. No, you want me to tell you why? No. The reason I say now, if when they say anything that's close to the year 1947, I say just forget it because no, I'm, I'm sure the technology and the knowledge came from other worldly beings. That's what I would say came from other worldly beings because look at that right there no it, it's too close to the aliens it is to the roswell to the admiral bird it's too close to all this information everything just literally like just the doors started opening up 1947 1948 and then so on and then all the technology started to come out that's right um yeah and well Look, the Romans used irrigation in Britain, crop irrigation systems. Um, yeah. Where, 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 where was we at? I got distracted. Um, why is half the UFA divided in square road grids? Um, well, I didn't see your comment. I didn't. I don't know why it's um, divided in square row grids. I really don't. Oh, well, because we have um, square miles. Square miles. How many square miles? Uh, even parcels of land are divided into like that. Yeah. Um, take a look at the Google Maps. Yeah, I've seen that. Look at all of these. Look at that. Look crop circle hoax are circles alien man-made or natural natural phenomenon look at all of these that that's wild 
it is so wild and then this that's wild too yeah um oh acreage plots a plot of land yeah all of that so giant crop circle appears in italy overnight let's see that saturday of 2014 in a wheat field thought to be an artwork of an extraterrestrial being or a ufo that's precision precision you all how could they do something like that in the dead of night uh, and there's houses nearby probably was um, ufos or some kind of other technology from above that made this um, crop circles the italian village a giant crop circle in the wheat field artwork of extraterrestrial beings um, look they say the artist was Francisco Grassi their aim was to prove humans are capable of doing such great work within hours do you think they did it or is that just a cover story really is it just a cover story not saying that humans couldn't do it but how could they get such a precision thing from that could be seen perfectly from up above at night in a wheat field um, circles and strongholds to dimensions um what happened am i blacked out susan honey oh i'm sorry Sometimes I push the button, I do, and then sometimes I think I push it, maybe. Sometimes they don't turn the button. Okay, now how could they say that scientists did this just to prove overnight in a matter of hours when they couldn't see a thing? Yeah, when they could not see a thing. That's what they said. Oh, it appeared in Italy overnight. Uh, they made it in a few hours you all they made it in a few hours they said it was simple they said but is it true <laughs> what about the ones that we saw that were perfect in egypt remember that the perfect ones we saw in egypt uh, or algeria perfect circles in the desert are they going to say that humans did that yeah no no they can't say that humans Oh, okay CERN okay now let's think about that CERN if we can keep that in your mind the symbol of CERN and how evenly spaced the CERN stuff is let's go to those pictures of when we went to there okay we're about there we are just about there y'all so so look at these right here see how perfect this is right here and you know CERN they have that twirling and their twirling looks something like that too but look here in the desert of egypt see uh m humans didn't make that but they kind of do look like these crop circles because look at the space between them um i think it's some extraterrestrial origin uh beings from space out of this world or they came from inside the earth came to the surface and they just started buzzing around this is in the desert you all in the middle of the desert see look at that right there it looks like ufo activity extraterrestrial activity oh well frank honey she thought i mean she was telling me I, I didn't have the screen up that i was talking about and sometimes i push the button and that um stream deck will not push me through it won't let me go through it yeah it won't let it happen so we've got those you also um yeah what ha why we got those great big gigantic circles look at that a blue oh a blueprint for free energy look at that how are you going to discover that really if you don't know how to do it because it does look like that that's really interesting or um something like this look at the symbolism on it are they going to say that humans did this also um that's mighty fancy um workmanship uh if humans did that also
Um, so um, this is um, it's wild. It really is wild. I believe they are easing the frequency of the planet with them. That's a really good thought, me. Uh, to ease the frequency of the planet. That's a really good thought. Um, it's a really, really, really good thought. And it does make sense. Now, as for putting this... Um, look at that. Right there. Now, when you zoom up on some of the um, maps, this you can see the um, horizontal lines on some of the landscape going like that. Very fine horizontal, horizontal lines like that. Oh, my goodness, you are. Is it Thursday or Wednesday? What day is it? See, and look at that. A wormhole. <gasps> Look, this is in 2012. Somebody created a wormhole and they used like a worm with antenna. Now that kind of looks weird. It really does. Um, okay, it's Thursday. Look at this. Let's see this, you all. Contact in the desert. We're talking about these. Ron Janix, honey, we're going to look at your um, UFO crop circles and grids around the world. Okay, we're going to do it. Contact in the desert. I like that right there. Do you like that? See, that does kind of look like some desert stuff. Um, he's got speakers. Well, we ain't got nothing, you all. We don't get to see it because it's a closed session. Well, thanks a lot, Ron Janix. That's right. We don't get to look at it, you all. But they're having, they got stuff going on. That's really pretty piece of art. And I like that thing that it's um, helping the frequency of the earth. I really do. Um, oh, hello there, Alba Brooks, honey. Um, yeah, I like that. It looks like this kind of looks like Jack's, but then it kind of looks like a atom or something. Well, it does kind of look like a Jack's, like Jack's play Jack's and stuff. And then let's see this, you all. <gasps> You know what that is? That's the original shape that, who was it that said? The ships from uh, Middle Earth, they had that shape and they weren't really like flying saucers. They, they were like that and their, the wingspan went like this and then like that. Is that representative of that? And look at the stuff hanging off of it. Um, just like that, you all. Hello there, Blackbird Fly. That's right. Higher vibrations, uh, healing frequency. Um, Jenny's um, uh, mentions uh, Google black boxes from Creator moving stuff underground. Wow, that's kind of interesting. It really is, you all. So there is, um, I was talking about how these circles, how these circles get here, and they are. They seem to be connected to the um, to the aliens. They do look at this um, aliens with they got some cubes in it. This is really fancy workmanship. These crop circles that show up around the world and in the desert, you all, because we did go to the desert and we looked at this. What on earth? Underwater crop circles. Do you think somebody made this? Um, they debunked it. They debunked the underwater crop circles. Seven foot pattern. Um, off the coast of Japan in 1995. Uh, termed as underwater crop circles. Five such evidences that will debunk the underwater crop circle. Um, creators of the underwater small puffer fish puffer fishes made those is that what made those the puffer fish um, now how can they say that when UFOs come out of the water the round circular disc they come out of the waters um, crypto mojito um, Justin he doesn't ring a bell, but thank you. 
I just now saw that. Yeah. Uh, um, okay, I got that. Yeah. He doesn't uh, ring a bell. I wouldn't say that he wasn't. Um, so look at this. So how can they say that the puffer fish did it? The huge size of it. You think the pu puffer fish are going to make a circle like that, you all? They're going to be so intelligent, and they're going to know how to make a complete circle. Um, um, let's see this. Underwater aliens. The reality is the patterns are made by puffer fishes, which are really small, and they don't have a length of anything of a couple of inches. That's not proof enough for me. It really isn't. Because look how perfect this is. It's perfect. Yeah. Well, they would d dismiss anything if they can. They really will. They'll try to find a scientific explanation for anything. Then look like at this, you all. Come on. UFO sightings. Let's look at this. This is circles, too. We're, we're looking at circles. So, Pierre, um, an area called Cold Events, situated near the south of France. Where's the circles? Uh, mysterious UFOs have been spotted like a flying saucer and floating rocks, you all. There are also reports of strange spherical objects and lights being spotted in England and his native France. Uh, the photographer has been, un has been covering the whole area called Cold Events uh, near the south of France. Most of his photos have been taken from the very region. And the location is a popular for the UFO sightings. Um, what do, what do, be, be blackjack gator? Um, yeah. So, no, see that, I believe that's a UFO right there. Some nice circular ones, you all. Look how old this picture is. Uh, well, it doesn't look that old. It's 2017. Um, yeah, 2017. People saw those lights above the mountains, and there was no noise. Look at this. First took place in the 1970s. Uh, they move slowly. We're talking about circles here, how these circles get on here. Um, I think my video is way behind me, you all, unless they're looping me. Um, we could go for a loop, a loopity loop. Somebody says, Gina, you are loopy. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine, you all. That's all right, you all. We're talking about circles. That's right. We are talking about them. So these objects were not any helicopters at all. Not any. Uh, and he would have heard them. There was a big ball of light which moved backwards and disappeared. And it is unsolved and there is no explanation. The other images are, are giant glowing objects along with a tail. Another type of UFO he snapped looked like a flying rock. You ever see the flying ro rocks? Oh, energy vortexes. Yes, that's how we row. <laughs> we took this and we did not see anything while making the film. A cloud was just passing in front and there was this thing in the sky which was enormous and it looked like a stone or a rock. Um, so it's a mystery, you all. Weird UFOs. And I, I can't play it. It's a YouTube video. I'm not going to do it. But you can see that right there, you all. What's, what's this right here? We still look at this... Um, let me see this right here. U.S. military aircraft was found chasing a UFO. Of course it was, you all. So, um, by the middle of this coming 2023, NASA will have its, um, it took the liberty of making its own UFO findings and it's going to report the hired 16 people to investigate it, you all. So, we'll see if we'll hear anything next year on it, you all. Mother Refree... <laughs> You all, mother refuses to breastfeed the alien baby that was born in Bihar, India. So, oh, the organization carries out these things. You all, they observe UFOs, 20 people. What on earth? Oh, there's a UFO that looked like that. A large diamond-shaped UFO through night vision goggles. 
this is the shape that people see often reflected off of a lot of the cameras live webcams around the world diamond shape they are and they're different colors too you know when the sun's up in the sky you see these diamond shaped reflections and no one ever says where they come from but this person with the night vision goggles um, described a large diamond shaped UFO the object flew behind a small hill right behind the entire sky which was watching a larger group all of us who all of us who ran off walked back to join the others three military jets flew over in the direction of the object now gone from the site behind the hill and some of us com commented that if they were following it meaning the jets they were just a few they were a few minutes late um, yeah so you are that's not a circle but that's um things about these um all of this no i didn't sign out linda gale honey where do i where do i sign out at um let's see you don't have it you also this is some um, crop circles and it's ir irrigation and stuff that looks kind of now oreo cookies well i think they probably did that you think they did did the oreo cookies maybe yeah oh i got some night vision goggles okay i really do and they have been in the box i've had them for over a year i have not took them out of the box and put the batteries in them so as to see the night sky because i think and i don't want to stay up that late that's what i'm thinking i do have them i do i have them i just have not taken them out of the box yeah that's right the children are the future so then look at this so uh, UFO crop circles so I do like the idea that they heal the earth I do remember that spiral thing when they came out with the spiral game and you that little things and you take your ink pen and you make all kinds of spirals why did they do that was it because of UFOs and stuff you know um, good evening Camry Camry yeah um and down the earth we spiral um yeah spiral graph that's what it is you all it was um that right there so it's true that you know yeah humans can make it but then look at that the scientists claim that the crop circles are alien messages from the future well where is it at I can't see it <laughs> I really can't see it wherever that went who knows you all the black knight satellite um, I actually heard about that years and years and years ago the black knight satellite uh, yeah so um, they could be messages they really could be messages and we know that there are um, flying saucers what was um people can see um, like where the grass was like bent in some of uh, UFO accounts where it had been spinning and stuff or sometimes the grass grass is burnt the area is burnt um, yeah so let's see this um, photo bombing your pictures of the sky somebody does it you all that's okay um, yeah that's about it so that's really interesting and it, it really is kind of interesting if you come over here and you you look at Google Earth and they have all these crop circles where they do their irrigation and it looks really pretty it does some of them look pretty because some of them look like they're spinning around UFOs but you all if we come over to Egypt let me just do this really fast I want to show the ones in Egypt really fast if we can get over to Egypt let's go to Egypt um, okay we're here in Egypt what is that? Q 
King Salmon Bean Royal Natural Reserve. Egypt, I'm thinking it was somewhere around here where the markings were in the desert. And um, I don't think this was the spot at all. Must have been some other, it was a darker area of the desert perhaps where the um, scroll lines were at. These are like a lot of ancient areas. I wonder if this is ancient. No, it looks like there's houses or something, trees and things there. I've been here before, but I'm not remembering where the swirls were. Yeah, you can't really get too good of a picture if you come over here really fast because it's it's not going to work. You can't just do a spur of the moment. We might find something though, just to give it one moment. We've got trees. We're in Egypt. And you can see the Great Pyramids of Egypt. See it, the Great Pyramid of Giza. And the, um, of course, it's just like this right here, something like this, but look at the area. And um, here's the Sphinx. They say that um, the Sphinx had its face cut off. They chopped its face off because it used to be a different face. I'll try to, I would like to spin it around. But I don't know how. I don't know how to spin it around. But that is like the Great Sphinx. The Valley Temple of Country. Now this isn't circles. But these are ancient um, housings. I guess around the pyramid. Or something. Which, which one of these pyramids. Is Thoth the Atlantean. Ship is under the Great Pyramid. Um, you know Thoth, Thoth the Atlantean. His, his ship is under the Great Pyramid, one of these pyramid. Thoth the Atlantean um, ship under a pyramid. Okay, so the builder of the Great Pyramid um, with the emerald tablets. Um, the Great Pyramid was a temple of initiation initiation so I think he hid his ship under the Great Pyramid I really do um, for when the aliens arrive when the aliens arrive you all he's going to get his ship out from underneath the pyramid let me see his ship under the pyramid when the Invaders arrive. Let's see if we can find it. I can't find it. I can't find the exact thing. Um, but that's what it says. When Before they arrive, he will get his ship out from under it. Yeah. He's already done it. Um, yeah, so we're going to go over here. I'm having a hot flash under the Great Pyramid. Uh, they're common irrigation. Yeah, that's what we figured because it's uh, more, um, um, it's better to water your crops like that. They don't have circle crops over here. Um, and there's no circle crops in Egypt. There's just pyramids and a ziggurats. Yeah, so Enoch spoke about it and um, why don't they have crops over here? Crop circles, really? Oh, here's one right here. We found a circle. We found a circle on a building. See, that's that still ties into this. As long as we find a circle, this could be a water depot or something. Could be oil. Um, but yeah, we found a circle. So that's what we're talking about. Uh, circles. <laughs> circles in Egypt is what we're talking about. Circles in Egypt around the Great Pyramid. And, um, yeah. So that's, um, 
strange. And it said that, is that a circle down there too? It said that there are pyramids in the United States too. And um, some areas, they, they chopped the top of the heads of the pyramids off is what they did to hide them, to hide the knowledge of them. Yes, that pyramid is not a circle, but it could probably fit in a circle. It really probably could. Um, yeah, I was trying to come over here and find the other circles. But the only, the good, only thing I have about the one circles is this right here. Um, that are all over one area. Actually, it's not just in Egypt, it's in other areas. But they kind of look like the same distance with the crop circles, as you can see right here. The same width, the same design. And um, I don't think human beings made them. Yeah, they didn't make these right here at all. That's right. Oh, sacred geometry. Yeah, you are. So we've been all over the place looking at these circles, and we have determined that they're irrigation, but who taught them how to do that, really? And they said this person named Frank um, uh, developed that back in 1949, but since it's so close to the Roswell and the Admiral Byrd and the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Israel Becomes a Nation and all this kind of stuff, um, no, I think it was it's from otherworldly, it's off-world knowledge is what I think it is. The technology just started booming then after that. Yeah. Did he really, Frank Cooper? He blew the nose off the Sphinx with his cannon? That's destructive. It really is. That's, that's a piece of art. It's history and archaeology. That's right. The Anunnaki. Yeah. Could have been. That's right, you all could have been, but I am going to go. Um, so thank you all for coming on here. And um, I can I can look kind of at the camera just a tad bit. Um, so um, thank you. And um, with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello. From my heart to yours, love you. Have a, um, have a wonderful rest of your day, you all. I'm looking over here at those comment sections. Right down there, you all. That's why my eye looks this. My eyes looking that way, but my um, phone with your comments is actually on this side of my computer. It's kind of backwards. Yeah. Have a good evening, everyone. Did I? Um, I think I said my. Did I say that already, you all? Hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. I think I did. I forgot because I get to talking and I get distracted. That's all right, you all. It's good. So um, there's a lot of information with these circles. And I think, oh, I didn't. I can do it. I can do it. I'll do it. Hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello. From my heart to yours, love you. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, you all. I keep forgetting. I said it now. Thank you. Love you.